Hey everybody, it's me, Libby B, and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you guys what I got for Christmas in 2017. Now, these aren't all of the presents that I got, and it's not to brag in any way, shape, or form. I just thought I'd share with you some of the items that I did get. And if you guys are interested in that, then just keep on watching. There's no one else here around me Sinking my feet in the sand So, starting off with the makeup portion of Christmas, my sister got me the NARS Anita Audacious Lipstick. It is such a beautiful rosy pink. I am wearing it right now and it's just so stunningly beautiful. I love it. And literally right before I started filming this, I realized that it has like a magnetic cap. So like it just kind of like, if you like, it's cool. Next, I got the Too Faced Christmas Collection Best Year Ever Makeup Planner. This comes in a zippered up pouch and it comes with an eyeshadow palette that has 24 eyeshadows and a bronzer, blush, and highlight in the palette. It is ginormous. The colors are so diverse and holiday, and I love it. It also came with a planner that says, don't let today be a waste of makeup, which is a really good motto. So it comes with stickers, and at the beginning of each month, they have a little page with a small makeup tutorial where you can follow along with the colors from your palette which I thought was really cool as well and I'm definitely going to be using that in the new year. It also came with a mini melted matte lipstick in the Sell shade out as well as a mini better than sex mascara. I always love Too Faced's Christmas collections. I got their Christmas collection last year as well. And lastly, for makeup that I got in terms of gifts was the Beverly Hills Prism Palette. Now, this is such a beautiful palette. The, for the formula is so similar to their Modern Renaissance palette. I skipped out on getting the Subculture palette because of all of the negative reviews I heard about it, but this palette is beautiful. I love all the colors. I cannot wait to play around with this when my eye heals. It's just a beautiful palette. I love the packaging. I love the velvet. It's just beautiful. Now, Boxing Day posed many deals and your girl got that Christmas coin so you know she headed to Sephora to get some deals on makeup and by deals I mean there were no deals but I did pick up the new Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. I got it in the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal shade. I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks right now and it is, is so stunning. I wore it for the first time yesterday and I put it on in the morning and when I woke up like wow it was just literally, I was sitting at the dinner table and I was staring at myself in the mirror and I was kind of just going like this in the light and I was just admiring the highlight because it was so beautiful. Now, you might be wondering why my lighting is so good today. Yeah? No? Well, I'll tell you why. Because for Christmas, I finally got a ring light. I'm a real beauty guru now. No but I love it. It's amazing. It's missing a part where the camera actually needs to sit in the middle. Right now I'm using a regular tripod with the ring light over top, but hopefully I'll get that soon. Now, my aunt and my grandma got me this beautiful sunflower candle from Australia, and it's a Van Gogh sunflower candle. It smells amazing. It's like that classic vanilla candle smell and I just love it so much and what my aunt did was when all of the wax melted out of the candle, she cleaned out the cup and she uses it to hold her makeup brushes. So I guess I'll be doing the same if I can ever get to the bottom of this candle. 
but I love it and it smells amazing. Now, I also got a brand new Nespresso machine for Christmas, which I am in love with. So amazing, I pride myself on being a little bit of a coffee snob, so it's perfect gift for me. And for clothes, I got a couple of staple items of clothing and I'll do a little bit of a try on haul for you all. So the first item are these pants from Urban Outfitters. They are the Ragged Priest. They are just these houndstooth pants and they have a little bit of a green gym stripe down the bottom as well as a flare in the bottom where it splits. These are beautiful and they are so comfy. They are a tad long on me so I do have to get them hemmed but nonetheless I love them. The second item of clothing is this beautiful skirt that I got from Simon's. It's part of their California Moonrise collection. It is very, yet very much Scandinavian vibe. The print on this skirt, I love it. It's just so beautiful. Next, I got this black turtleneck long sweater as well from Urban Outfitters. It is super comfy. I've literally been wearing it the past two days, but it's so comfy and I love it. And speaking of Boxing Day deals, I saw this jacket a couple days before Christmas in Banana Republic and I fell in love. It was such a beautiful jacket and it was priced at around 180 I believe from 495 Canadian dollars. And I was very hesitant on buying it because it was 50 off of the sale price, which I believe was around 200 possibly. And so I decided not to get it. But my mother surprised me on Boxing Day and she picked it up for me for $90. So it went from 495 down to 180 down to 90, which I think is an amazing deal. So that was a $495 coat for $90. It is so beautiful. It's like so high fashion red. It just, oh, it's part of their Olivia Palermo collection. And it's all around so beautiful. Another Boxing Day deal that I picked up was this brand new purse from Aldo Accessories. Literally the only reason I got this purse was because my old purse was falling apart at the seams, not to mention it had melted chocolate all over the inside <laughs> of the purse. And I needed something big enough to fit my camera in, as well as my wallet and a book to read when I go on the subway in Toronto. I wanted something big enough to hold all of that in, and this purse really does the trick. So that is the gist of what I got for Christmas in 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah if you celebrate that. As always, if you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them on any of my social medias with the hashtag BeautyByButler or hashtag Coffee on the Couch with Libby for a chance to be featured in my monthly Q&A. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.